so. Washing the light. Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really? So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? Sindri said... Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she asked Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. You're back. I see you've been busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. There's an abandoned temple in Midgard that a fellow dwarf converted to his personal storeroom. Packed it with all sorts of treasures he collected during his travels throughout the realms. Throughout the realms? Which ones did he go to? What did he collect? Fafnir was a, shall we say, aggressive collector of magical artifacts. The more he acquired, the more he desired. There was no realm too dangerous, no relic too hazardous. He once ventured deep into Niflheim for a whetstone of all things. Huh. I bet that was quite a whetstone. Does this story have a point? Yes, it does. I just happen to have an entry stone to Fafnir's storeroom. You might find something useful in there. Neat. Thanks, Sindri. You're very welcome. Oh, and uh, if you find that whetstone, well... It sure would be nice of you to bring it to me. What can I do? I'd advise caution if you're heading to the storeroom. Last I was there, all manner of nastiness had taken up residence. Won't your friend be upset if we steal all the stuff? Oh, <laughs> no. No, not at all. He's dead. I think. Oh, sorry. No. No need to be sorry. These things happen when one travels from realm to realm, collecting priceless artifacts that don't belong to you. Master Atreus, how may I serve? And we're back to you. Until we meet again, my friends.
cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head, well, this wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you? Well, I could just feel what she was feeling, what she was afraid of. Hmm, it happens again. You tell me, understand? I promise. We just came back from another realm, and we met your brother. Wait, not that order. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good! Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, dwarf? There's this alchemist on Vari, been working out in the Velander mines. You haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me, wears a fancy green ring, owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine! If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. All right, what'd you break?
something for the boy? Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Tower. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or exploring? Your choice. What is this? A horn. Here's the end. Can we blow into it? Without knowing the outcome? Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. Outcomes we can predict. No. This is something else. We must develop your instincts. We rode past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the witch's place. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning. The sun's over there, so... That's south. Southwest? Improvement. Oh, look. The witch's magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time. Poor Fafnir. There's a fine line between ambition and greed, you know. Ready yourself! Watch out! <laughs> Card is still down there, if you don't feel like climbing. I could carry here now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. 
Now watch our step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. It's working! She was right! Come, let us finish this. Climb. You know, others said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah. I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Jotunheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. The Mel, we made it! More black breath. stories of a giant with a deer head. wonder who he is. Nothing. Maybe the riddle will help. Think there's a second light crystal around here? What does it say? No yoked beast, nor fearful thrall, nor rooted tree doth know my call. Weird. I don't think that'll work. 